I was actually part of it. I was part of it. Kentucky. I didn't know you were from Kentucky. Did you know that? A fun fact, oh, an interesting fact about myself. I have a third penis. You know, a third penis. No, a third penis. You know, you got your first penis, your second penis. Well, down kind of triangular, I have a, a third penis. You know, because you got your first one penis. Is that true for everyone? Oh, what a team building exercise. Uh, hi and welcome back to, uh, I did not know that uh, not only do people not have a third penis, that, that a second one is abnormal. I don't know why I'm just now finding that out. Hi and welcome back to another edition of Say There Buddy. Suppose you did the thing you'd rather do. What would that thing be? Saturday. No post. No theme song. A third penis. Jay Peso is here, and I'm Trouble T, and damn, I remember when I was back a fucking senior in high school, man, all these motherfuckers was hating on my fucking escort, because I had the hubcaps and they was blinging, but I don't give a fuck, I'm going to come to your hood and just burn off, <laughs> I'm going to leave ass marks in your fucking driveway, we've got a new movie recommendation, that one got me, I don't know why. I <laughs> leave fucking ass marks in your driveway. Swinging my third penis out the window. We have a new movie recommendation today, and our movie is Inhuman Witch. <laughs> Following a radioactive accident in outer space, an astronaut is transformed into a sentient blob of meat who devours everything and everyone in its path. Inhuman Witch. Now on demand. Uh, that sounds like something I would really be into. Uh, and I was, because I've definitely watched it. I definitely saw Inhuman, which I recommend it. I know. I'm trying to, you know what I think? Uh, I think I've kind of botched it. I'm going to do, I'm doing two things actually. No shave November, but not for the manscaping and not my face. I, I will never go a month without manscaping, without shaving my body and my my sack and shit up. I won't do it. I won't do it when I'm single. I won't do it in a relationship. I, I cannot go. I cannot be hairy. That's just not my thing. And the other one is that I'm really struggling with this No Net November. This is the longest. We're on day five. Uh, I've gone five days before when I was sick or, you know, recovering from something or when I got bit by the spider, like when I was 20, I was bedridden and I couldn't really fuck around, you know, tearing skin and shit. I have not gone five days voluntarily uh, ever since I first started nutting. I I'm getting the, the cold sweats. I'm getting shakes. Everything's looking sexual to me. I mean, even you have gone from a five to a, s a seven. Uh, just in this short time, I'm, I'm going to be a nightmare to be around. I can feel the test building up. It's overflowing, <clears throat> but I'm trying to deal with it. Uh, and this will be a good uh, good place to, to vent some of these frustrations. Let's get into some questions. Would you rather have no skin sensations, and that means be completely numb to touch, or have super hypersensitive skin that feels everything ten times more intensely? Nah, and even though I think, but no skin sense, oh, okay. Because it's easy to just go, nah, I don't want the hypersensitive skin. My God, dude. That would be a nightmare in the bedroom, right? I mean, you, you want to talk about premature, premature ejac. Ten times? Ten times more intensity? I can barely honk a boob now without filling my pants. I can't imagine having skin that was ten times more intense. I think I'm going to take the no skin sensation. Man, there's so much energy transferred, though, when you're just sitting there going at it. No skin sensation. But the hypersensitive, I think you're going to have the premature ejac. Uh, so give me, <laughs> that's the only thing. No skin sensation, though, you can be burnt. You can burn and not feel it. Super high. Man, this is a good one. I'm trying to rationalize each one, and then I come circling back to, yeah, but you can't feel that, but then you'll feel it ten times more. Man, give me, God, this is a tough one. I'm going to take the numb I think, not feeling anything. Uh, I think I will parlay that into, into some kind of either fighting career or 
I'll do something there. Super hypersensitive skin, 10 times more intensely. It just seems like it's going to be more of a burden than not feeling anything. And that premature eject, I don't know how with 10 times more sensitive skin you could you could get away with that. Honk a boob and fill your pants. With, with three penises, I mean, when I talk about filling pants, we're talking about filling them up. Would you rather fill a large pail with beach sand using only your mouth or chew and swallow one pound of raw seaweed? So you're going to have sandy mouth, but you don't have to swallow the seaweed. Isn't that, if it's not dried out, isn't that going to dehydrate you? That's why you can't drink salt water because it eventually dries you out. A pound of raw seaweed is a lot. Chew and swallow. I think I'll, I'm going to do the large pail. I'll fill the large pail of uh, the large pail with beach sand using only my mouth. <clears throat> Chewing run, a pound of swallowing a raw seaweed. A pound of raw seaweed. I, I always say I don't want to go with the thing that's going to make you sick. And I feel like that's going to make you sick. I like that one. I'll just do the, the, the pail fill the pail with my mouth. Would you rather live in a world where at the end of a rainbow there really was a pot of gold or where at the end of a rainbow there were 500 cases of Pabst Blue Ribbon? So tempting to take that. 500 cases. You get there 500 cases of beer right there. But that's only... You're, you're just skipping a step of what you're going to do with the gold. If you don't have the time to go and exchange the gold and do all that, you're going to get more out of the pot of gold. You can go buy 500 cases of Paps Blue Ribbon. Uh, you're going to have to... Well, I was going to say, if you find that, either one's going to be hard to haul, though. The pot of gold isn't going to be light. People are going to know. There's no way to like secretly get a pot of gold out of there. But with the pot of gold, what I'm saying is you can go buy the beer, and then you're going to have a lot of money left over. Uh, I don't know what a case of Paps Blue Ribbon costs, but I feel like 500 cases uh, is still going to be less than a pot of gold. Give me a pot of gold, then I'll get the beer, and then I'll, you know, we'll do some other stuff. Would you rather live in a world where there was no such thing as war, but also no such thing as pork? Or, where there was no such thing as crime, <laughs> but also no such thing as the A-Team. Okay, so, we're, we're sacrificing pork to stop war, or we're sacrificing the A-Team to get rid of crime. It feels like if you got rid of crime, you would almost get rid of war as well, right? Uh, I'm saying in a sense of like, what... We're, Certain, I mean, war, you're killing, you're stabbing, you're bombing. Well, I guess that's just hateful stuff. They don't consider that, like, crime. <sighs> I'm not that attached to the A-Team. <clears throat> and no such thing as crime. I don't really know how that's going to work. I, I will sacrifice pork to get rid of war because I'm not that attached to pork. Uh, and I don't really feel like pork and the A-Team are... are the same amount of sacrifice. I don't really know uh, if the A-Team carries any weight. I do like that question. I'd probably, I probably would have switched it out of A-Team. But I, I will give up pork to stop war. Uh, and then we'll just still have crime, but no war. That's why I used to always laugh about people. We will not stop until terrorism is defeated and wiped out totally. Dude, you can't stop crime in a suburban city. How are you going to stop terrorism worldwide? Just just stop, man. Just stop. Stop right there. Lofty goals. Unachievable. You're always going to be disappointed, but it keeps bringing in the funding. Would you rather have your feces come out in a perfectly stacked pyramid of spears like cannonballs or brown bubbles that float in the air? Nah, son. You don't want to ship bubbles. Especially, I don't want to ship bubbles. Then you're going to have ship bubbles flying everywhere. The, the, the stack pyramid sphere poops are pretty awesome. Like, you're taking something that's awesome. Shit bubbles would be awesome, but <laughs> why do you want to have... You're going to be sitting on the toilet and just shit as you're shitting. What if you have one of those real grunters, you know, those post Taco Bells, and it's just shit bubbles everywhere. It seems like so much could go wrong. 
uh, if your bubbles came out in, uh, I mean, if your shit came out in bubble form. Perfectly stacked pyramid of spears is pretty cool. And then you can stack them up. Like, you can go take a shit, you know, where they're stacking all those rocks. And then somebody will come down and, like, you know, get holistically healed. Or they'll, they'll get some kind of inspiration from your, your shit pebbles that are stacked that way. That would be pretty good. I like that scenario. Okay, I think we're going to take a quick break from our sponsor for our sponsor. I fell asleep in the library. I was in there studying paradoxes late into the night, more specifically indoor ornithology, and nobody even noticed. I fucked. Bacon scented mustache for guys who fuck. All right, these questions are out of the book. 2000 Would You Rather. You can play with yourself as your <laughs> shit and bubbles are surrounding you. How crazy would that be, man? Uh, would you rather eat Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese's pieces? I was thinking about this the other day only because I was looking at a bag of Reese's pieces and peanut butter cups, man, they're so good. But Reese's Pieces saves you the mess. And if you're on the go, it's easier to eat Reese's Pieces. I like the peanut butter cups better. But if I can only choose one for the rest of my life, I'm going to go with the pieces because they're more mobile. They're more travel friendly. Would you rather eat chicken feet or pig knuckles? I didn't even know pigs had knuckles. Uh, chicken feet? It's just like a fucking... What do you gnaw on it? It's like a toothpick? I've never heard of either of these things. Do you have to be cultured to know about these things? Because, <laughs> I mean, I've heard of them, obviously. I know what, I know what a fucking chicken foot is. Uh, but I, do, I did not know what a pig knuckle was. I, I'm going to have to look up, do pigs have knuckles? Or is that what they're calling where the, the joint bends? It's a pig joint? Give me a pig knuckle. I'm going to eat the pig knuckle just because I want to figure out what that is. Uh, pig knuckle, alright? Is that the pussy of... Bacon scented mustache for guys who fuck. Well, I don't know, man. I'm just saying. I've definitely seen some... I didn't know it was called pig knuckle. It's a moose knuckle. <laughs> and welcome back. Let's go, man. Would you rather have a 48-hour biological clock... Or a 12-hour biological clock. I'm not exactly sure what that means. I thought biological clock was like women, right? You know, the time where you can have children safely, like the window or whatever. 48-hour, is that what it is? So so if I was a woman, I only have a 48-hour biological... There's a 48-hour window the whole time I'm alive that I could conceive a child or a 12 hour that can't be what this means though because why would anyone take the 12 what does that mean biological clock we're gonna have to look into that I may get back to that uh, at some point would you rather have a literal beehive hairdo so it's you're wearing the hive and then it's got the bees or literal mutton chops as <laughs> sideburns I mean, you got to take the chops here because you can't have bees around you constantly. Beehive, having a literal beehive on your head, as cool as it, it that sounds cooler, but I feel like that's going to attract bees and you don't want bees. Give me the literal mutton chop <laughs> sideburns. Both of these are goofy as hell. You take the mutton chops on the side. You're going to get, <laughs> dogs are licking you. You're like, they love me. Dogs love me. I can't stand that motherfucker, man, but damn, his fucking mutton chops taste good. Would you rather be able to handwrite any font at regular speed or be able to flash a sincere smile on command for photographs? I need that one, dude. A sincere smile. It always just looks, I don't know. Uh, I, I get that, a sincere smile, as opposed to a fake smile, I guess. Uh... Yeah, but that's not as cool as being able to handwrite any font at regular speed. I'll definitely take that. I really don't know what use that has now. People can't read, can't write anymore. It's fucking slowly whittling away as we just go to all seven second video format. I don't even know how to write. I don't know how to read. I don't even know how to do anything. But point at it. Somebody else can make a text and I'll point at it while my tits are out or 
I'll just take someone else's video and go, ah, at the very end I'll put my reaction, ah, and then I'll get all that. You don't really have to have any discernible skill like that anymore, but I still would, I still want that, because I would still like to be able to write uh, any font, uh, whatever it was, I already flipped it. Would you <laughs> rather watch every video at .25 speed, or every video at, so two times the speed, 2.0 speed, <clears throat> Uh, 0.25. Man, that's really slow, too. Give me, I, I think, if I have to choose every single one, I'm going to take them at a higher speed just because the, uh, the trying to get it done quicker. How uh, efficient that is. Time efficient. 0.25 speed, that's taking now what? Now, I don't really, I'm not a math guy, but now a minute is taking what? Minute, two minutes, 25, whatever it is. Every video at, at two times the speed, I'll get good at it. Uh, you can still kind of tell. I'll fast forward movies like that if I'm not feeling them sometime. I did that on that one. One of the, the paranormal activities, I was like, fuck, we're doing this same bullshit again. I just go until I see something happening. Would you rather look too young for your age or too old for your age? This flips. This changes, though. I'm going to take too young. I don't approve of surgeries. I've, I've said that before. People just scrambling, trying to hold on. Skincare stuff doesn't bother me. Skincare definitely has a place in, in the, the aesthetic game, for sure. I mean, I, I exfoliate my face and all that, but the surgery thing bothers me, where it's like, God damn, okay, you got to 50. You see people that are like 40 or 50, not showing any signs of aging like that. Even though they look, some look good, it still looks, if you know their age, it feels unnatural. Uh, not that it, you know, whatever. Now, you don't have surgery, that's fine. You're just keeping your skin good, that's cool. But I was going to say, it goes in cycles. When you're young, you want to look older, and then you hit a spot where you want to look younger. And then who knows, maybe if you get to 70 or 80, this is the thing, you get to 70 or 80, and your body is still not breaking down, it's breaking down, but by, judged by your face, like, somebody might want to get you and toss you around in the bedroom, and they're just snapping hips, and <laughs> Like it's just working you over. And you're like, oh, hold on. No, your body is 80. But because your face looks 30, they're thinking, oh, I could just whip you around. Or, you know, who knows? Maybe you're having trouble getting a senior discount uh, wherever you're going, which might not bother you. But fuck, man, I want the discount, bro. I want the discount. If I'm fucking 60 or 50 or 60 or whatever it is, what's the senior discount? Start like 55 or something? If I'm 60 and look 40 and you try to fuck me out of my free drink, we're going to have problems. I want my discount. So in that case, I would want to look older. Uh, but for now, where I'm at now, I'll, I'll take younger. Uh, I'll still take younger. But I wouldn't fucking do voodoo rituals to get it, though. Like, I'm fine with aging. It's fine. Would you rather be physically 25 times stronger than you are now or have the option to choose any power, or you can choose one power portrayed in, in an X-Men movie. 25 times strong. Nah. I'll take the uh, the power. I would probably do the, the I like the quick silver thing. Was he the guy that was running around doing all that? That, that seems quick. Uh, quick. <laughs> that seems cool. Uh, you can... <clears throat> to, I, now, I don't know for sure that I would take that one, but that's the one that jumps out right now. Because you can wake up with, you know, five minutes before you need to leave. And you can get ready for an hour in your time. Uh, there's there's a lot of, of cool options for the X-Men. I'd have to think about it. And I do not have to choose the power now. 25 times stronger physically, I've said before, doesn't, doesn't help you necessarily. Uh, if you're not competing or you're not in some kind of competition. Just being 25 times stronger than another person as an everyday citizen doesn't really do a whole lot for you. Give me the X-Men power. Would you rather alter history to prevent <laughs> Fortnite dances from ever existing? Or the <laughs> Nardo, Nardo run from ever existing? Ha ah, man, I don't know what that is. Fortnite dances are kind of funny though. That doesn't bother me. I, I don't know what the Nar Nardo run is. Naruto, N-A-R-U-T-O. So, yeah, that can go, since I'm not familiar. Maybe if I've seen it before, I would change it. But off the top, I don't know what it is. Fortnite dances, man. That doesn't really bother me. <clears throat> Where are we at? Would you rather be running as fast as you can 
and trip landing face first in a patch of grass or be running only half as fast and trip but you land face first in gravel okay so you're going fast as you can you face first in the grass rubs you get some grass stuff I'll, I think I'll take that as fast as I can still pretty fast but you just slide on the on the grass yeah Half as fast in landing in gravel. I feel like the gravel is what's going to do the most damage to you. Grass, grass is tear away for the most part. Because you're talking about grass. It doesn't just say like, oh, there's some dirt and a little bit of grass there. Gravel will shred you. Would you rather try to win a million dollar prize by twirling a hula hoop for five minutes without stopping on my hips? I don't think I could do it. Jumping across, jumping on a pogo stick across a football field without stopping or falling, yes. By my estimation, by my overestimation of my abilities, I think I can do the pogo stick across the football field. And I feel like I can get it first try. Uh, I've done pogo stick activities before, feel, feeling pretty good about it. The uh, hula hoops, five minutes, man. <laughs> People, that's what they don't realize. Even when you're dead hanging. You're dead hanging from somewhere and it starts racking up like two minutes all of a sudden turns into a long time. Hula hooping for five minutes without stopping I don't believe I can do. Give me the uh, the pogo stick. Let's see what we've got. Look at that thing. Would you rather get to live in ultra luxury for a year with travel, house, and cars or get fifty thousand dollars a year for the rest of your life. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What trading one year ultra luxury? They're talking about billionaire stuff, right? Would you rather live that billionaire lifestyle where you've got the yacht pulling into the other yacht? You see that Vezos thing? The fucking bottom of the boat opens up and they like he's on the yacht and you're like, fuck, that's a cool yacht. And then you pan out and there's this giant space station Star Wars looking thing and they pull it in there. Stupid though, you don't need it. Like that's only for somebody else or maybe you thought it was cool but like it's impractical and I'm a practical guy, you don't need shit like that. Give me 50,000 a year. I get 50,000 a year on top of what I can bring in by myself. Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Would you rather find true love tomorrow or win the lottery next year? I've said before, man, the money thing. If I'm finding true love, true love, I would like to, I'm going to take that, I think. Uh, who knows how long that, that will last. Uh, and, and <laughs> you know, winning the lottery seems really appealing, but uh, it brings so much with it. Give me true love tomorrow. I'm ready for some love, man. Let's see. We're going to do that one one more time just because I think it may have it went off. Try, always try to push it up, up against the thing. Always trying to push the boundary. Would you rather have your internet activity for the rest of your life displayed in real time on a massive screen in Times Square or go without use of the internet for the rest of your life? Okay, I just, I already kind of went through like, I think that that's supposed to be, I do have some crazy internet searches because I'm looking up random stuff and I've thought about that before and some I haven't pulled the trigger on. Uh, and as far as if it's a porn thing, I don't really think my searches are that out of control. I always said, you know, especially like in the heavier party drug days, like you, you just, it's a volume thing. It would be more of a volume thing. You were like, oh, there, you spent a little too much time on that one, son. Uh, but that's easily kind of explainable away, though. Uh, it's a billion dollar industry. I'm not really worried about my searches like that. I don't search up anything violent. There's never any like real oppressive. I guess they say porn is violent against women in general. I don't know. I don't view it that way. That's not the part of it that gets me off. So <clears throat> I would leave my internet searches for everyone in Times Square to see and maybe they can feel a little bit better about their own searches. Or maybe they'll just go, oh, that guy's fucking way weirder than we thought. I think my thing is like, it's kind of like when you see, um, you know, what was that Rogan was talking about Matthew McConaughey? He's just a normal guy. Matthew McConaughey is just a normal guy. He needs someone. No, I really don't think that he is. I think both of you, Rogan and McConaughey, have skewed perspectives on what an everyday normal guy is because your life is not normal every day. 
So while you might have a uh, good head on your shoulders for that, I am going somewhere with this. That, no, both of you live an abnormal lifestyle in a sense that people are groveling to you. You know what I mean? So you don't have really a good perspective on exactly what a, a level-headed, normal human uh, experience is like. Uh, maybe you did at one point. But I'm saying that to say this. Maybe my internet searches, I'm the same way. Oh, maybe if they saw mine, they could feel better. And then they see it and they're like, oh, no. No, you are got some wacky shit on there. Your internet searches, you, you have the Matthew McConaughey... You're the Matthew McConaughey of internet searches, or someone else is, and I'm Rogan saying, no, it's actually pretty normal. Like, his internet searches are actually pretty normal, and they're like, no, y'all are both fucked, man. <laughs> but I'm saying that, since I don't have that frame of reference, I will put my internet search on the screen in, what is it, in uh, Times Square, rather than go without the use of internet. Because although I do believe most people would be better off without social media, 99 or 95 percent. Uh, you do need the internet for some things, so I will take that. Okay, I think we're good there now. Until next time, I'm Trouble T, and you know what I'm saying? Big Body Entertainment putting it down. You know what I'm saying? For the 2003. Well, it's fixing to be 2003 in less than two weeks, you know. It's still 2002, you know what I'm saying? It's about Christmas time, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go to 2012 anyway, so it don't matter. Y'all can buy my shit when I'm dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to be a lot. Because I'm telling y'all, a lot of honkies done stole a lot of my tapes, dog. My house done got broke in 15 times since I was 10. Man, I've been making music since I was 11 years old. Don't even hate. Man. <laughs>